back in the TV. G'day, welcome to Balcony TV Cans. I'm Alita and here we are again, once again, at the Billabong in Coranda. Beautiful day up here. And our very special guest today is a touring artist based in Melbourne who's up here doing some shows and it's a great pleasure to have him here on the show today. It's Mike Ellington. Hi, Mike. How you going, Alita? I'm fantastic. Now, uh, what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play a new song of mine. This is uh, a thing called There Is A Light. There certainly is. Take <laughs> it away. <laughs> I see your pain The fear in those eyes You got nowhere to run From the hurting inside You'll cry on your own You'll smile for the show You don't want to hold on But you just can't let go Cause there is a light Let it shine on you Shine, shine on you. It's all in your head. You'll hear that shit every day. Just drop another pill Is all that they say There will be an end And you will see a time When you're out of your dark Lonely disguise Cause there is a light Let it shine on you There is a light Let it shine
Mike Ellington, I have seen the light now. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. The light, the light is here. It is. It, <laughs> hence the dark glasses because we're blinded by it at the moment. We're not doing a Blues Brothers impersonation, by the way. Um, now, 17 years on the road touring. You must have had an incredible experiences and stuff like that. And what I wanted to ask you is I know that you've played at a lot of the major blues festivals around Australia, you know, Blues on Broadbeach and uh, Sydney Blues and Roots Fest, heaps of them. Yeah. And, of course, you would have played a lot of smaller venues as well. Uh, what do you prefer? Well, oh, the, the big ones can be great. The small ones can be really good as well. It's it's really all about that um, connection that you you yeah. you can create. You don't always create it, but that's the intention. <laughs> uh, connection between you and the audience. And, I mean, you don't have to have a large audience to create that. I do a lot of gigs at smaller mm. uh, blues festivals and that can be that can sometimes be better if if they're if they're engaged and they're inspired and they're into it um well yeah you can have that with five or ten people in a yeah. in a lounge room doing a house concert yeah you don't have to have exactly. thousands of people at a festival even though that's that's nice too yeah but, so, yeah well yeah. it's a thing everyone dreams of <laughs> yeah of course uh-huh. now um you've got an album out currently yes. uh, two lucky stars yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about that album i do believe that there's a wonderful very well-known harmonica player who played on that well known in the blue scene Chris Wilson yes uh, I've known Chris for a few years now in the scene and I grew up he was one of the guys I I really looked up to yeah. and still do uh, first found out about him uh, a song called can't St- I can't stand the rain the cover that he did with Johnny Diesel that was a, a big hit on the mm. radio when I was still in high school and yeah very so cool <laughs> love that song so yeah he was he's on uh, three or four songs on the album um, playing harp and, and singing as well and we do a few gigs together occasionally when it, when we can get the stars yeah. to align back in Melbourne. Um, and yeah, he's, he's wonderful to work with. Uh, in the studio, he's great. He just comes in and nails it. Big plug for Chris Wilson there. Yeah, yeah go Chris. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Um, but you've got a new album that you're just about finished. It's just about to be released very soon. Yeah, I've got a live one coming out. It's called Live at the Flying Saucer. So it's a lot of the songs from the last studio album, the Two Lucky Stars, but recorded live with a, a, a whole band. Normally I play solo, so I had a whole band on that yeah, gig great. and had a, a three-piece uh, string section as well. So violins and cello and I had keyboard player and backing singers. So like all up, there's eight or nine other musicians with me at the time and um, we recorded and filmed the whole gig. So oh, so we'll um, have the DVD as well. It's and, a CD, yeah. DVD, cool. double. So you get you get both when you... Two for the price of one. That's <laughs> it. All about awesome. value. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Um, what else was I going to ask you? I, I wanted to uh, talk about... Um, we talk about the big voice and the big man of blues, but um, people don't realise because you're sitting down, but you are like really tall. <laughs> So, Nearly two meters, uh, probably, probably <laughs> and I'm not short. I'm not short, so he's tall man. Yeah. And uh, your music is sort of a mix of uh, blues, roots, folk, and swamp. You know, it's kind of a, a whole broad range there. Yeah, I, like I've I've listened to and played more blues um, than I guess any other yeah. uh, standalone genre. But I like all sorts of music, um, even you know dance music and hip hop and stuff they play on the radio. I like I. There's nothing I won't listen to. I just love a good song and I try and um, draw inspirational elements from whatever I'm listening to at the time. I'm not genre specific. It doesn't have to be blues or or roots uh, or folk. Um, I just get inspired by a great song, really. I don't care what genre it is. Yeah, you're like me. Love that. Well, it's been absolutely fantastic having you here today on the balcony. Thank you so much. It's been great. And enjoy the rest of all your touring and and stuff and uh, the gigs you've been doing around. And if you haven't caught him, please go and see him, Mike Elrington. And thanks once again for joining us on Balcony TV Cans here at the Billabong. Thanks to all the crew here. Thanks to Sky and the team at Travel Beats and Cans and Todd at NQ Music Press. Catch us next time on Balcony TV Cans. Back in ETV, 